What's up everyone? My name is Paper YGO. I am here for Goofy Gaming. We are at Phantasm Gaming in Brantford, Connecticut. And who am I here with today? Uh, ben Tamarkin. Ben, how you doing today, buddy? Very good. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Tell me what you did and what deck you played and how are you feeling? Uh, this weekend got second at the Hartford Regional and I played Dragon Control. Very cool. So what were some of the, uh, the decisions you thought about when you were thinking about playing this deck? Um, it was mostly altering, like just figuring out which hand traps I wanted to run in the main and like ultimately how many. I settled on 12 and I settled on playing hand traps that I thought would be the best against like Rescue Ace and pretty much just Rescue Ace. I also played no Rescue Ace, so <laughs> it'd be like that, right? punished for playing some of my matchups that I undersided for like Labyrinth, but uh, not enough to actually lose those matches, which is great. Got it. All right, well, thanks for that. Um, any shout-outs you want to give, or you want to save them to the end? Yes, go to the end. <laughs> okay, cool. So why don't we get right into it, then? Sure, sure. Best token, by the way. There he is. Um, so the main's 40. Um, it's... If you've seen, a like, a Bestial Control deck, it's going to look very similar to what you've already seen. Uh, three Lubellion, it's your best starter, and this guy's insane, just like Brad. Uh, three Serenir, um... It's a very good discard, and you need actual good discards in this deck for things like Msetti, Sark, um, whatnot. And um, yeah, it just shows the max out on this one because of consistency reasons. Uh, they were playing one and one, no Baldrick. Um, yeah, you have to play one, and no notes. They were good. <laughs> That's like super standard, you're not going to change that. Right. Um, and then the two branded cards. Uh, you pretty much always go for this one first. Um, this is basically in here to reset this, but there's certain like matchups and like sometimes going second you need to like out a problematic card with this. Uh, this this beat a lot of floodgates for me. Um, yeah, uh, Regain is probably the best actual continuous spell in the deck. I think it's better than the uh, Sarcophagus. Uh, more dragons, three of the little black metal, uh, one card spheres, one card IP. Um, not one card IP actually. Or actually, there's one card IP. I lied. Yeah, just one card link too. That's good. Um, and then the guy's search with him. Other miscellaneous dragons are the one levy, which is um, just bonkers. Like, no one's ready for this card. And safer for your grind game. Um, this card is insanely important. I tried a version of the deck where I played three of this and none of the black metals. Um, I came back to this package. Um, just because I didn't like the way that this was sort of interacting with the hand traps that I was mostly seeing. I was getting shifter a lot, and this does nothing in a shifter, and this at least like is a beater. Um, and you really only need one of this, you just loop it with Dispotter for the whole game. Uh, yeah, just like, you only need one, it's really good. If you open this with like Abyssal, you're in an incredible place, because you just dump Serenir, and you get Mag, and you go Mega Plus. Um, also made Chaos Angel with this a bunch. Really good card. Uh, moving on to the other engines. Uh, horse package. Six cards. I always drew this. Um, and I sometimes drew this. And whenever I drew this, it was with this. So, I always drew, like, two horse cards. But that was never really problematic. Um, I always held one of these up. I never actually discarded the second one. I always wanted that if they broke my board, I could just, like, play this and just, like, get these guys back. <laughs> um, this card's really crazy. And sometimes I would actually just, like, pass with this on my field in case they, like, threw a board breaker down to, like, add back hand traps or, like, add back follow-up. Um, I really enjoy these cards. <laughs> uh, and I've used, I use the effects, um, the Construct slash Catastrophe effects um, a lot. That comes up a ton to like out really problematic things like Macankos. Um and uh, even what's his face uh, Charles. I use this to like out Charles and like the warrior matchup sometimes. Really cool stuff. Um, tuner package. We're playing the four card sort of resonator package that all these sort of control decks are playing right now. Um, this thing is like the best card to open as a discard, um, just because it is free. Um, there, this is also just like the best card, like going second with this deals. Um, you just you can OZK so quickly with this, with the uh, scarred dragon archmain and the red dragon archmain. And um, this card too is really really crazy, just like reviving the RDAs and just getting you a plus every single turn. 
Um, I, I'm in love with this package. I wish it could be bigger, but I just don't think there's another like resonator that's like good enough for this particular build. Would you consider more of the Crimson guys? I don't think so. Um, one was fine. One was enough. If they ever outed it, I never really feel like I missed it. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think another one would just like be too cloggy. Um, like you could search them on other turns, or you can like discard them with Sarks if you have extra copies. But I really don't think that's needed. I, I kept it at forty. I didn't want to like add any other bolts. I was really happy with like every single card for the most part. Nice. Um, I saw these like just the right amount too. Like opening one is perfect, but sometimes you open like one in the crimson or like just two of them, and it's just an OTK a lot of the time if you're going second. Um, hand traps. Three jewel for pretty much everything. Um, it's really, really good right now. The combo decks like Warrior and Vanadium are going to roll over you unless you have this. Um, then for. This was primarily for like Rescue Ace, same as like Imperm. And then Ash is just like generically good. So we were playing 12 in the main. 12 and 40. So I, I really like that number right now. <laughs> I felt like this had really good coverage. And then the last two cards were the Foolish. Um, this card's actually crazy. Uh, I kept cutting it and then putting it back, then cutting it again, just because, like, and then put it back ultimately. Um, dumping this is good because it gets you into your resonator package. Um, dumping this or this to, like, this to get this back or this to get back a Rebellion or something. Super crazy. Uh, most of the time I was actually using this to just, like, dump Serenier to put extra lights and darks in grave to just summon a Levy in the first place. Um, yeah, I thought I hated it, and then it, it just kept being insane in the opening. Um, and then I side this card in every single game. I yeah. don't think I resolved it a single time. You just play the one because you have to. Are you no. doing, like, yes, like, yes, you have to, because it searches your good cards. <laughs> but it's, uh, I was explaining this to Alan earlier, it's literally like a glorified um, Metal Foot Fusion, kind of. Mm -hmm, right. like, it's better in every way because it actually like has a good effect, like when you activate it. But like I'm using it for its great effect like 95% of the time. So yeah. I don't think I activated it from hand once. And getting ashed on it uh, kind of must hurt sometimes. I said that I want to go second. Um, I don't want an inherent minus one when I'm going second. Um, for if it does get negated by like an ash blossom or just like anything in general. Uh, people just fear this card. They have PTSD when they see it. So um, they, yeah. Like, I don't want them to hit my, my card and make me go minus. I guess the one question I have for you about the main deck is, mm -hmm. I know you played 12 hand traps. Did you miss cards like Talents and Call by the Grave and uh, you know, Cross Out and things like that? Uh, not a bit, no. Um, people don't know where to hand trap this deck um, super well. And if they do hand trap you, I'd rather just have gas to play through it than like a Talents to rip a card. Got it. Um, I was playing Talents previously, and pretty much every single time I was just using it to draw two. And I'd rather just like have an active card from Go in case they don't hand trap me. Right. Yeah. Um, they're they're good, and I think you can play them. But I think uh, going second, the hand traps are just like more needed for the heavy combo decks like Nadim and Warrior, which I was playing a lot of in testing. Um, so I was really pushed off of those um, the board breaker cards. I didn't think they'd be good. Cut it. Yeah. Um, for extra. <laughs> okay. That's us from Nats from 2019. 2019. We were so young. So young. Um, so spry. So spry. <laughs> yeah, it was skinnier. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, synchros. Um, I hit these every single game. These are probably the best two cards in action. Well, this one is. This one just like makes this card better. Um, insane for making rank eights. Uh, great for link climbing. Great for OTKing. Um, this package is incredible. Uh, no notes. Um, I actually, I like hard made this once um, to clear a flu board. <laughs> because nice. like I had the Crimson Gay on the field, I just summoned this, attacked into his, uh, and kind of booked everything, and just like crunched his board. It's kind of sick. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't. Um, I was on a shifter, so I couldn't use the uh, this to summon this guy out. So it's just all right, just straight into RDA, kill everything. Oh, that's so cool that that came up. Yeah. No, this card's insane. Yeah. Um, I cleared like two boards with it. Uh, I don't think I made this a single time, but I hard made this against um, what's it called. Hard made this against Vanadium, and it won me a game in round three. Um, th 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 that was just kind of a flex. I was super ahead, so I just wanted to like make Stardust and flex on him. It, it works. I used it. Uh, Navigated and Obsidian. Um, tens. Made this card every single game. It's the best. Uh, spot removal and just really annoying for your decks like Prelude Dealer. Um, they, if they don't even confirm this card, is like insanely hard for them out. 
Oh, and then there. Uh, sure. Going second and just killing people. Exes, 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 exes. I made this a lot. This card is crazy. Um, the attack redirection to protect your spheres, IP, SP, so on, comes up so much. And just like having just the ability to like take the equip spells on Warrior or just like negate effects on like non activation so you can like steal a field spell is really, really powerful. Uh, this card came up a lot, won me a ton of games just by getting like stupid lucky off the mill fours. I also took Fenrir from my opponents a couple times and just like let my cards at the grave, trigger grave effects, and just like ended with like Fenrir plus like Spears IP, and that was awesome. And then this card won me like two matches by himself. Card's like really, 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 really good. Fake Zeus. Uh, I don't play Zeus, so this is this is my one true Zeus. <laughs> he's not fake Zeus. He's a real Typhon. Yeah, no, this, play is, <laughs> this card's awesome. I uh, my one warrior matchup that I played, um, I won just off the back of this card alone. I just like summoned this and broke his double Charles board. It's hilarious. Yeah, no, this, this card's insane. Like, I don't think I play a deck without it right now. It just like slots in perfectly. Good. Links the uh, one striker. We're playing dragons. Uh, my favorite card in the extra deck. Um, IP is really, really good right now with SP. And then Dark 2, just apply pressure OTK and the SP for the light. Very cool. Yeah, you're like optimal. Like, end strategy a lot of the time I found was ending with like these two. And that's probably after they've already tried to hand trap you twice or whatever. They can hand trap you once, they can hand trap you twice, and you can still pretty reliably get to this. Um, but this was like enough to like pretty much beat every single deck. It was like this plus like a synchro or this plus like an XE, or if they hand trapped you, it was just this. But this is just enough. Plus like your continuously of like regain to bring back the card to do this early if you don't want to use your spheres. Um, that's super nice. It is a ton of pressure. They just most decks just can't beat like removing three cards which is exactly what that's doing, and then this is going to be follow-up. Did you want to go into your uh, side deck? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Um, so side... I was playing through Phantasme, and I think if I had to do it again, this is the one card I would change. Um, I put it in just off of theory without really testing it. Um, the theory was that it would be good against Rescue Ace, it would be good against Unchain, and it would be good against um, Ori, uh, because they link relatively early and because um, a lot of those decks actually especially the um the unchained and rescue decks like to target your cards and this has like that material protection effect um, as well as like filtering your hand so i put it in for those um i played one warrior zero unchained and zero rescue ace so this card just was not well represented um in my play uh, i'd probably cut it for dd crow um later, we'll, yeah. later bud yeah i'd probably take it up for dd crow um because it's like still good in pretty much all those matchups and it just strengthens my pro and labyrinth matchups so I, I think that's like the one thing i would actually like change with the side i think the rest of it was pretty solid uh nib for combo i didn't really play combo but like i've tested this card and i know it's good so I, i'm not gonna cut it um three droplet this was like my favorite card all day i cited it in pretty much every single matchup going second um this is like your only way you beat pro link is if like they go full board and make this like you can see this card like you can actually like, crack them and kill them uh without this like i don't play uh Hail the abyss or um underworld god so i have no other way realistically to out the uh the north without just like playing through it yeah it's one of those things you kind of just take the risk at the at the event and be like okay hopefully i don't play 12 pearlies today i played one and that was my one loss <laughs> um uh two thrusts this was Fine, I never saw it. Um, two Lightning Storm and a Heart Piece are back row matchups. Um, so uh, this against Flu, and it won me my last match of the day. Um, didn't see this once. I didn't side for a lot of my matchups, actually. There was a lot of games where I just like didn't side. I played a lot of Rogue. I never played a lot of Rogue. That card was Dermacan. I sided in a bunch um, to Thrust and like my Flu matchups. I played two Flu. Uh, didn't see this, so I didn't see this. <laughs> Basically, it was very... Uh, very underwhelming, but um, but in theory it's pretty solid. In theory it's excellent. Um, it just like puts their stuff down. They don't have to play through their floods on your turn, um, and it stops their little birds from getting banished. So it like cracks their resource loop. Uh, um, other than the phantasma, anything else you would would have liked to change? I don't think so. I think like I didn't really make the XL status, but I don't think I'd want to play without it. 
Um, the ability just to go from eight to ten is um, needed. I, I think my hands were just like good enough that I didn't need it all day. Um, yeah, no, the deck performed extremely well. I, I drew like a good combination of like my packages and hand traps uh, for the most part, and yeah, no, like it was just uh, performed extremely well. It performed standard, I guess, would be like the way we'd like to say it. <laughs> well, that's great, Ben. I'm I'm really proud of you. Congratulations on your second place. Um, Ben's been playing for a long, long time, and he's really come a long way as a duelist. So we're really proud of you, Ben. Great job. Again, we're here at Phantasm Gaming in Brantford, Connecticut. Come check these guys out. They've got a lot of space to play some card games, and they've got a lot of stuff here, too, that you would be interested in. Uh, yeah, my name is Paper YGO. I'm here for Goofy Gaming. Ben, any shout-outs before we wrap it up? Um, yeah, let's shout-out the, the people that I always play with, like uh, Reese and Brad and everyone else that I see at Locals every single week that I'm not thinking of off the top of my head right now. <laughs> and everyone knows who they are. One of the group chats, like... Uh, yeah, there's so many of us at this I'm point. I'm not going to names out of, like, fear of missing, but <laughs> Reese and Brad deserve extra shout-outs. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. Yeah. Chris, any shout-outs? No. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, again, my name is Paper YGO here for Goofy Gaming. I will see you all in the next one. Stay getting that paper. Peace. Yay! Uh, take care. Yay.